Hello everyone. This is Melanie at Melanie B's Creative Studio. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about why your, your pay my number may not look like somebody else's. I know I touched on that subject in the video that I've done recently about, you know, why do my custom paintings don't look like my photo? Okay, well, I'm not getting into all that. But what I did want to show you is that I have two of this particular painting. And one of them is from Paint Plot, and I had purchased it last year. And this one is from Painting by Numbers Factory. So this was a perfect example of how different manufacturers come up with completely different palettes. So I'm gonna open up both of these packs and we're going to discuss the swatch guides on each one. But I want you to first take a look at the difference in palettes. Now I'm not talking about the numbers because they can be you know, numbered differently, but let's check out which colors are here that are not here. And this is the newer palette. So I don't have any red. I have, it's kind of a deep red, but I have no purple and I have no green in this palette. I have many shades of pink. So I, like that's actually a pale pink. So I have four, oh, I'm sorry, five tints, shades, hues, values of pink. I have more yellows in this palette than I do here. I have peaches and oranges in different tones in both palettes, but they're different peaches. This one's got a charcoal gray, whereas this one's got a black. This one's got a more of a warm gray, whereas this one has a cool. This one is a pale green, kind of similar to that one. The tone is the same, it's just a little darker. So, and I don't have any blue in here. There's a blue. The deep brown is almost exactly the same, like that orangey brown kind of color. So what is the, the point of this, right? What is the point of this video? This is to show you that two people could get, purchase the exact same kit from two different places and have something completely different when they're done. I am good with that because I feel like it gives me an opportunity to not have something that looks exactly like somebody else because nobody's gonna see it on somebody else's wall and then on your wall. So one other thing I wanna mention, I'm gonna pull out these swatch guides for each of these and we're gonna look at them. So how vastly different are those two swatches? The reason I bought this painting twice was because the last time I bought it over a year ago, I it had very dark lines and numbers, just like this one that just came in did. The canvas was just super dark. And I thought, well, I'm gonna try it with a very thinned down white gesso. Big mistake, because there's no reference guide. So neither one of this, these paintings came with a reference guide. So I did not take photos before. This, y'all, I was not necessarily new at Paint by Number, but I had not come up with some of these ideas and some of these things that I've tried since then. So I'm just like you guys. I started out, I did several paintings. I wasn't thrilled with some of the results and I loved the process, but I was really struggling with some of the quality. So having said that, the point is, is that my canvas is basically ruined because of the fact that I went over it and covered a bunch of stuff and now I can't read some of the numbers and the lines are very hard to see. So when I saw this painting again, it took me a year to find it again because Paint Plot doesn't care it anymore, I jumped on it. Well, now I have completely different palettes. This one has 24 colors, this one has 21. This is the paintingbynumberfactory.com, this is the Paint Plot, and this is the older one. These have, this one has a lot of really good opaque colors and um, the pinks are fabulous. I love the fact that there are pinks in this painting. That is one of the reasons I bought it because I love the pink so much. So this one only has one pink, you know? So the problem with that is it's a beautiful pink and it's got great coverage. I can use this pink on this palette. I can switch those out if I need to. I can use this brown instead of that brown. You see what I'm saying? So I'm gonna mix the two palettes together, but I'm gonna customize it in a way that will make it work for me, okay? I'm gonna have to kind of figure out how I want to paint this new canvas with this 
older palette. There's 24 colors here and there's only 21 here. That means it's not gonna be numbered for 24 colors. So, you know, either I can take this one and just do it as it is, or I can take this one and just try to figure it out and do it with, you know, lines that are very difficult to read. I cannot decide. So anyway, I just wanted to show you how different companies, manufacturers come up with different colors and all that. That's what this was about. And maybe one day you'll see this painting finished in the next five, 10 years, you know, because that is being rational and reasonable because I know me. Okay, that's it, you guys. Thanks as always for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure you join me on Patreon. All right, I have a bunch of stuff over there that nobody else gets to see. We have exclusives. I also have early release for my videos. So go join me. See you soon.